Hello everybody. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys. That's how I normally open it. Um yes, welcome to a video on my channel. Oh my lord. It's it's been a while. Um but I'm <laughs> I'm still alive. Yay! Um yeah, I'm sorry it's so long since I lasted a video, but I have a haul. I have a load of K-pop um that I want to share with you. So um I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm hoping you don't mind, <laughs> but um, I'm very excited because packages have started to arrive again. So, um, basically, if you don't know, and you're new to my channel, this year um, I went to see G Dragon in London uh, in September, and then, like, literally 10 days later, I went to Berlin for four nights. Um, I had an amazing time for all of it. Um, GD was amazing, um, which goes without saying because he's GD. Um, uh, yeah, so he was he was awesome. He was just he was just GD. Um, I didn't buy anything at the at the concert because there was literally a thousand people in front of me, and yeah. But I went to London for a couple of nights and did some shopping and some bits and pieces as well. So it was quite an expensive couple of days in London, and I went to Berlin, and the expense kind of continued. Um, however, when I was in Berlin, I did pick up some K-pop albums. They have a K-pop shop in Berlin. And there's a couple of places actually near where I was staying that sold them as well. So I was like in my element. Rather than buying like German related stuff, I ended up buying K-pop. So what are you going to do? But I knew I was going to have an epic battle trying to regain all the K-pop that I hadn't been able to buy for like the last six months. So um, I'm going to try my best to start clawing it all back. As well as trying to do with all the new releases. So yeah, we shall see. Um... But um, the first thing that I bought, which I haven't shared on this channel, but I think I shared on my Instagram, um, I bought Dreamcatcher's first mini album prequel, which I'm very happy to have. I love these girls so much. They're so unique to the industry and I really, really enjoyed them. Um, so, yes, I'm, I'm very happy that they're back. I'm, I'm very unhappy about this whole two version thing because then it leads to three versions and then four versions. So, But hey-ho, I decided to get both. Um, there's a shop in Berlin called Neo Tokyo, which is where I bought these from. Um, whilst I was there, I also bought in Neo Tokyo um, a pink's pink up, just the one version because I literally couldn't fit it in my case anyway. So, and I didn't have the money, so I ended up buying pink up as well. There is another version, but my a pink shelf is very pink, and it's like it's quite a strong bluey kind of colour. It looks like like that kind of colour and I'm unsure about it so it's still pending it's in my pending pile um, so yes and then one other thing that I got when I was in Berlin which was not in Neo Tokyo but in a place called Saturn I stayed in Alexanderplatz and there's a really massive shop there like five floors it's like an electronics floor and the very last floor was loads of music and I just went up there um, just to have a look and they had a small k-pop range and to be fair most of it was stuff I either owned or didn't want um, but I ended up buying G Friends Rainbow which is a repackage for Parallel which I don't have it's on my list still so um, yes very happy indeed to have some new albums in uh, for photo cards um, for Dreamcatcher these are the two that I got Jiu and Sion so we got the odds. So, so pretty. I love their stuff so much. Oh, my Lord. So pretty. And then in my um, A-Pink album, I got uh, Chodong for everything. So uh, I got the little um, money bill thing there. And then the photo card. All Chodong. I am Bommy biased, so if anyone wants to trade for Bommy, just, you know, let me know. And then for G Friend, um, I got Cindy and Unji. So I was half happy because Cindy, Cindy and Yerin are my two biases in G Friend. So Unji's up for trade for Cindy, uh, for Yerin. But I'm like, I'm just like putting my photo card collecting on hiatus, I think, permanently because I just can't afford it. So, so yes, that was all kind of like Berlin stuff. Um, and then my next pile is the beginning of the catch up. So I, when I next got paid, I had to kind of like, kind of determine who was more, the most important. Obviously being a VIP, Big Bang and the most important to so anything Big Bang related comes first. So GD's releasing the Japanese version of his album. It was supposed to be in November, but I think it's been moved to December. So I pre-ordered his play button 
along with the outstanding black pink CD and DVD that I don't have so um, that's one package and then I also pre-ordered Daesung's album um, which is out in December and I, it's a play button and the CD only so yes so I have those those are my priorities after Big Bang is obviously BTS so BTS never stop releasing stuff including their lovely new album I love yourself so my first priority was to ensure that I got all four copies because well like most of you I'm trash for BTS so yes I ended up pre-ordering two copies from um, K-Town for you which is where I order most of my Korean K-pop I don't know I said Korean K-pop I just mean like if I'm not ordering Japanese I usually tend to buy it from K-Town for you yeah um, and then the V and the E I bought from uh, a seller on eBay so yes I have all four versions this is like my number one priority um, this is an amazing album as always and um, I don't know if you guys want to see an unboxing because I'm kind of at that point now where there's no, no point you know what they look like you probably just want to know what my photo cards are so that's fine I'll share that with you um, my views are that the album is really great my favorite track on there is mic drop um, I also obviously besides DNA and every song on there is really good. Go Go is so cute. Um, Pied Piper I like as well. And the Weather World is really good. But Mic Drop is just, it's just awesome. They are releasing uh, the next Japanese single in December. Mic Drop, DNA and a Crystal. I can't really remember. But um, yes, I love all the photo books as well. I love how they're all unique and different. I don't like how white they are because I feel they're going to get dirty. Um... And yeah, we'll see if there's a repackage. Um, I did not get blessed with my Yungi, so Yungi is my bias and BTS, but I'm never disappointed if I don't get his cards. It's like it's no big deal because if I if I want them that much, I'll just buy them. Um, so for um, L, I got J Hope. Oh, J Hope, who I love, bless him. And then um, I got Jin in O. And then I got Ratman or RM. No, RM. We're well, still Ratman, but he's not Rat Monster. Now he's either Ratman or RM. I'm just gonna call him Ratman. RM's weird. Um, and then uh, J Hope again. J Hope loves me at the moment. He just freaking loves me. So, um, so yeah, that was the card. That was the card. That were the photo cards in those releases. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then one more BTS related thing. Um, they had a DVD drop recently, so that had to be done because uh, I haven't seen the Wings Tour live because I live in the UK, which is a part of Europe, which um, apparently, if you're a Korean music company, you're not quite sure. It actually exists so I'm very excited to watch this I haven't watched this yet but it is beautiful um, and it's it's just lovely it's just very very lovely nice big thick photo book this is very YG kind of I love a thick photo book oh uh, okay, there's some cinnamon for you oh and there's some junk for you oh I'm such a proud mama, I really am. Um, yes, and <coughs> I was like, the reason why I prioritise this is because there is a photo card in there, and you do not want another live on stage debacle from 2015. So, um, who did I get? Who did I get? I did not get J Hope, so he hasn't blessed me this time, and I didn't get Yungi. But I got Baby, Baby Cookie, Sungu. I couldn't want to say Baby Cookie because he's no longer Baby, is he? We're still baby. But yeah, I got Jungkook, so I'm very happy indeed to have him because he's like my ultimate bias wrecking machine. So I keep telling him to stay in his lane, but he just refuses. So um, yes, that's pretty much it for the boys. Um, I do have one more um, boy related CD plate, and that is CD plate. Um, I bought Monster X's Japanese 
single beautiful so the second one so i have a version of both of them so i'm only going to get one for the for the monster x but they have got a comeback and i'm very excited to get it um i'm going to try and prioritize i haven't got bap's um, blue yet and then like my third bias group and a couple of other things as well so Hmm. Um, and then for the felt car that was in there, um, I didn't get Iron, but I got Minhyuk. Minhyuk. Um, he's my second bias, so it's quite fine. It's quite all right. It's quite all right. And then um, the rest is kind of a pink. So uh, I have this thing with a pink, and her name is Bommy. And um, uh, I am a big fan of the fact that A-Pink do CD plates. So these are all my Bommy CD plates. So uh, No No No, Mr. Chu, uh, Love, Sunday Monday, and then Summer Time thingy. When you first ordered, when these three came out, you could order specific members. So obviously I got Bommy, I also got Namju and Chorong, um, but I've no longer decided to do Namju and Chorong because it's too expensive. So I have Bommy and then... Um, Sunday, Monday and Brand New Day came out, but you couldn't order specific ones. I was very fortunate on my Sunday, Monday uh, in that I got Bommy, so it was good. But in my Brand New Day, I didn't get her. So, um, And then in, it came, came back to like normal. So all the other releases, you can just order what you want. So um, <laughs> that's what happened. So those that one release, Brand New Day, has really annoyed me until now. Because I was really determined, I was just like, I need to get it because it's like the only thing missing. And then I found this on eBay and it, was, it wasn't was cheap, but it wasn't as expensive as it could have been. Um, so yeah, it's a bomby CD plate, but oh, what's this on here? Ah, it's signed. <laughs> Which I was just like, oh my lord, what do I do? Um, according to the seller, this was bought from the official Japanese shop. So I am 100% sure that this is fingers crossed real um i don't normally tend to buy signed stuff because i just feel that if i don't meet the artist i don't see the point of getting it signed i've just my brain just doesn't but i really wanted the cd plate so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna get it so i have that which i'm very happy to have so a surprise in my collection so yes so then all i needed to do was catch up with um a few of the other releases so they released their second album pink doll and that um, came in many formats, along with member CD versions. So um, this has been on my list for ages. I was just like, I'm just going to do a bit of a an A pink haul. So um, here is her CD plate. You can't see it because of the glare. Oh, there we go. But I'm not going to attempt to put the plastic back on after showing you because I don't deserve that. Um, but yes, she's got a lovely, lovely picture on there. And then we have um, Bye Bye. Mommy, bommy, bommy, bommy. Uh, I can open this one actually because it, I've got rid of the plastic. So, it's pretty. Um, you get random photo cards in them as well. So, I will show them. Um, and then the last one is, I want to say Mochi Go Go. I think that's it. I can't, my brain just cannot remember. And I think there's two CD plates. So, for the moment, I've just got this one. Um, and they also have another Japanese um, single called Orion out as well. If you haven't checked it out, please do so because this is my cat. Hi. Oh no. Hello. Oh dear me. Oh, I don't know where they come. Hi. They're all right. Okay. Yes. So I have those. So I think there was one more version of this, and then the new one to go. Really. Rude. Go on. Um, so yes, I'm pretty much all caught up. I'm very happy about that indeed. I'm so happy about this though. Oh my lord. And then um, for the cards, so for Pink Doll, um, you don't get bomby ones, you just get random ones. So I got Noon. And I'm sorry if I butcher that, I never know how to pronounce her name. Martin. Martin. Yeah. And then um, for Bye Bye, I got Namju, which I'm very happy about because she is my second bias at A Pink. They're pretty. And then in Mochigogo, I got Hyung. So, no Bommy cards, but that's fine. I don't really collect A Pink cards anyway, so it's just, you know, if I happen to get Bommy cards, I'm excited. But yes, that's pretty much it. That's my haul, guys. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I get paid in a few days, so I will probably buy a little bit more cheeky K-pop before Christmas, um, and then do a haul for that, and then then it'll be the Christmas haul. Um, if you want any unboxings, uh, let me know. I'm not really that fast about doing unboxings now because everything's kind of outdated. So, um, if you want me to do any kind of video for that, then just let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Till next time, ciao.